you're going to play your final home game here. What's it meant to you to, to play here and the yeah. success you've had in this building? I don't know if I'm looking forward to this game yet because it, it went by way too fast. Um, but yeah, I mean, JVJ is home now, so. The best stories often come from a place where convention gives way to exception. From the cradle of cinematic creativity in Los Angeles, the story of London Parentes is nothing short of remarkable. A fiery competitor with a cool California demeanor, the senior has bucked trends and embraced individuality from an early age, blazing his own trail and becoming one of the winningest Cavalier players in history. Just growing up in, uh, on the West Coast, I was uh, an outdoors kind of kid, just always playing sports, always doing something that involved athletics. I had a couple of running mates that we were just always out on, on the go. I've always been on my own. I was just very independent as a kid, so I, I was never afraid of being away from home. Basketball was always my love, and then I fell in love with just the East Coast ACC basketball, and then kind of just set my mind when I got into high school that that's where I wanted to be on the East Coast. Uh, it was never really like an adventure thing, it was just something that I wanted to do. Despite London's desire to play in the ACC, the narrative needed fate to intervene. Enter the Grassu brothers. Washington State alum Nico Grassu happened to be watching his younger brother Hironis play at Crespi Carmelite High School in Los Angeles when he noticed a young point guard who would be a perfect fit for the Cougars' previous coach, Tony Bennett. A well-timed phone call later matched the young point guard with the coach who would become his mentor and the Cavaliers haven't looked back. For me to be able to learn from somebody that played at the highest level, played the same position, it was a huge recruiting pitch for him. Playing in ACC was huge and the, the academics as well and I was just excited to come here and learn underneath him. There was a lot of signs that now that I look back at it, it's weird. Me and my parents always talk about it. My grandma lived on Virginia Avenue and everything was meant to be. There was no expectations. That was something that was good with the with the coaching staff. They never really told you what you're going to get when you get here. And they're not pitching out something that's not true. When I came around my official, he showed me a lot of clips of my high school career that I needed to improve on, which kind of helped me uh, decide that I wanted to be here because he's always going to try and help me get better. And when I came here, I just wanted to just wanted to help the team win at all costs, whatever it meant, whether it was having two minutes or playing a lot. My role kind of grew pretty quickly. So. There's a steal. Parente steps in front of the pass, now hands it off. Anderson bumps it down with a big two-hand dunk. I'll tell you what, that's the look at the future of this Virginia basketball program. This is a freshman, London yeah. Parentes. He has vision of not just his four teammates, but what the defense is doing, so he can control nine guys with his dribble. That kid is looking for somebody else all the time. That's the difference, the vision. That was really good basketball. I'm telling you, they play so well together. I wasn't really looking too much to score, obviously, when I first got here because we had so many weapons. And then towards the end of the year, I kind of got to be able to score a little bit more. It, I, I think I was just a good mixture of trying to help everybody mesh. We have a bunch of personalities on our team, Malcolm, Joe, Keel, Justin. I think I was just a good meshing point for everybody, and, when I, and I think that's what helped, what helped us. Syracuse home game was probably one of the biggest things for me, just being my, my freshman year just coming in and, and being able to win that regular season title and in front of the home crowd and being able to cut the nets down in front of the home crowd was, was just huge for me. Even better than that, the tournament because it was at home. Uh, the fact that we were able to do that in our own environment was was big. Um, it, was, it was a great it was a great time for sure. As Parentes reflects on a career that currently includes 109 victories, Andy looks forward to receiving his degree in African American and African Studies. It's his relationship with head coach Tony Bennett and his Charlottesville home that stands out the most. Coming in my freshman year, just I was really trying to pick his brain and learn everything that I could from, from him and uh, just trying to find a way to, to, to run his team, to run, run that ship that he's trying to uh, get going. And especially over these last four years that I, I've done a good job at being that coach on the floor, being that second coach, that second head coach. And now at this point of, of my career, we're throwing ideas off each other and kind of doing things like that. And sometimes I can call something before he does or he'll say something that I was thinking or I'll be saying something that he was thinking, like things like that. And even off the court, we, we've gotten a lot closer and choosing here was the best decision for in that aspect. It helped my game a whole lot and, and I'm glad I did it. Charlottesville and Virginia basketball. Just part of his journey, but an experience he will never forget.
The program is just going up to new heights every single year. I think it's going to get even better as when I, as I move on. And I'm just glad that there was people before me that set the, the stone down for our, for our program and we just kept on building. I think to this day, I feel like I still am the same person that I uh, came in as, but I know for a fact that that's not the case. It's just another home for me. This state, this city is, uh, has done so much for me, it's done, uh, done so much for my family. So I never thought that I'd say that this would be a, another a second home for me. I thought I'd always be a California boy, but uh, I guess you can say I'm a little Virginian too. I didn't really know what was gonna happen when I, when I came out here for these f next four years of my life going into college but it turned out to be the best, one of the best decisions of my life. Did so much with this program, with, the, with these coaches, with the players around me, and yeah, I, I, I love this program to death, for sure.